Okay. Okay, my name's uh Dennis Kibet and I've been here for around four years. I think this December I'll be making four years. And all that time I've been working here. It's a good place to work and I've been very happy because it's not only about work, it's a learning process. I've been uh, happy to interact with my employers because I've been learning farming stuff and also life stuff. For example, they help me for the preparation of my future life, e.g. creating my savings account, my health insurance and stuff like that. And then on the Shambok, I'm kind of like attached to the farm work, but now working with, an, with a retired organic farmer is really helping me a lot in my dream or my attachment to the farm thing. So it's a good place to work and I'm always happy to interact with the plants, the trees, and also the employers themselves because they are good people and the main thing is that they are happy and I am happy to be with them. Yeah, nice. You mentioned something about uh, uh, working with a retired organic farmer. Yeah. What are some of the things that you've been able to learn from him? Apart from just, uh, you know, the nitty gritties of how to plant certain plants. Like what are some of the uh, lessons that you have learned from him? So first, the big lesson that I have learned is not using chemicals in the plants you plant. And the main thing is we always use manure, no chemicals attached with anything we plant at all, no chemical. And for me that I can say it's a, it's a good thing that I have learned and it's the main thing because I came to realize and understand how harmful the chemicals are to people. And yeah, that's the very important thing I've learned. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, what would you say is the, the most unique thing about the Marmanet cottages? What, what, what unique thing does Marmanet cottages offer new people who come here every time? What, what are some of the things that you've had people really appreciate when they come here? I think the naturalness of the place. Because the place is more of natural, off the grill. The most of the things here are not really classic or you can call them high quality or stuff like that, but they're just natural, most of the stuff here. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's how unique it is. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what, uh, for, for, for the people out there who probably uh, are not aware of you know the, the things that these cottages offer they, they don't know about uh, you know the kind of plants that are being uh, grown here the kind of uh, atmosphere that is around here what would you tell them to encourage them to come to this place mm. or, or rather yeah what would you what would, what would make people come to this place like if you were standing outside there just meeting random strangers what would you tell them or what would you say to them that would make them come and want to experience this place the first thing i would tell them is that uh, it's a quiet place and then the second thing is the organic thing that we do farming with no chemicals and I think because most of the people outside there right now are using chemicals and if you mention that to someone out there I think they'll be curious to know how you make it without using the chemicals and I think that will be a reason for them to come and witness the non-use of chemicals. Yeah. So how can you can you tell us uh, a bit of your story from how you how you started working at this place 
yeah. to now where you are. How has the journey been for you? What have you been what have, what have you been doing? Uh, and how has it impacted your life? Well, at first I'll say um, I was still when they bought this land. I was in high school, and I was just hearing stories because I couldn't get that time to come and see. And they just started with a small cabin, so I was just hearing stories about a white man around, and I was just curious to come and meet him and maybe have a chit chat. But then with time when I finished my high school in November and December came in, so I was just free roaming around. And one of these days, my grandfather is a village elder. He's told my grandfather that he is looking for some people to work for a day or two. And there my grandfather came to me and I came to work just uh, for a day or two. And that's where we started. The, that's where my journey started. And then after that, I, I used to get some works in there, in there, day in, day out. And like that, like that. And then after that, I became a, a watchman. And I watching out for his small cabin for some months and uh, also there was the there was a well being dug and i used to come in the morning and draw water with a bucket because there was no pump and there were well diggers who would come at 8 a.m so i had to wake up 8 or uh, 6 a.m and come and draw water from the well and after that, he started coming here more often, and I think he was doing some a little bit planting trees, mostly not really vegetables trees, a little bit of them, and then he decided to move in, so he started to build his own house, and so I used to be like a regular worker, a helper around. And that way we kept on interacting and we got along with each other very well, I would say. Yeah. And I would say all oh, the journey up to now, the start of the cob houses and where we are now, the planting of everything around, it has really helped me because I'm not the same person as I started here. He has really impacted me in the patience and being ready to learn about the farming and everything around so my patience that has helped me and also his willingness to help me and yeah to help me learn everything around and he has taught me a lot yeah not only even on the works even on the life part yeah 